So in today's video, we are going to continue with our lesson under the topic of chapter uh, uh, one of term two. So this chapter is inventory valuation, uh, which you are going to find it when you write your paper two. All right. So I pick one of the previous question paper so that we can try to solve some problem under this chapter. Okay. Uh, it was 5.2. They said, uh, Charlie's a power castle travel suitcase and the year end is 30 June 2018. Okay. And they also say it is required. Number one, 5.2.1. Calculate the value of closing stock on 30 June 2018 using first in first out method. Okay. Uh, which is FIFO method. Five marks. So the second one, they said Charlie suspect that the suitcase have been stolen. Provide a circulation to support his concern. Okay, let's start by the first one, uh, which is FIFO method. Okay, and they say information, a stock balance. Uh, we have opening stock as well as closing stock. Remember when we are calculating FIFO, guys, uh, 5.2.1. When we calculate FIFO, the first step that we need to do is to pick up how many units we have on hand at the year end. So in this case, it was given. But if it's, it's not given, you just take opening plus purchase minus sales minus a uh, closing as well. As long as there is no any stolen, you are going to get a closing. Okay. So a closing unit that we have is uh, 496 on the first column. 496 units on hand. So in other words, we are going to calculate our closing stock uh, balance under 496. Okay, you know that when we use the first in first out method, we assume that the one that we purchase last is the one that we still have on hand because what we purchase first, we have sold them first, first in, first out. Okay, let's take under our purchases. The last purchase, it was June and you need to see a return. Okay, as you can see, the last purchase of June is 450, but there are some units that has been returned of 25, which means that when you calculate closing, firstly subtract that return because it's, it's no longer there under 450. So, which means that we are going to say 450 minus 25, which is going to give you, uh, let me break it down, it's going to give you 425 unit. Then now you can multiply by the price uh, that you find under June which is amount of 3040 okay then we need to calculate here and get total so if you if you do this calculation guys you're going to get amount of 1 million okay but this uh, 425 we are not done because at the end we must get the total of uh, 496 so in order for us to check how many shortages that we still have to complete to cover this 496, we have to take this one minus this one, uh, which is going to give us 71. Okay, it's going to give us 71 here, 71 units, which means that this 71 units is from the bench uh, that has been purchased uh, around March, because the March is the second last. Okay, then the price uh, we have to multiply by... 256 uh, eight. Okay, am I copying the right thing? Uh, 26 26 uh, 29 It's 298 Okay, and if you multiply uh, You are going to get amount of 208 And it's 8 Okay, then after that, you need to determine the total that you just have to add this to, which is going to give you 1,500,000. Just like that. Okay, now let's move to the second one. That's how you calculate first in, first out. If you add these two, obviously they're going to give you 496. Okay, the second one, they say that Charlie suspects that a suitcase has been stolen and provide a calculation to support his concern. 
Okay. Now we have to uh, do calculation uh, of a stolen good. In order for you to get a stolen goods, guys, it's very simple. 5.2.1. A stolen goods, you just said opening, uh, which is 420. In other words, we are adding all inventory that we know that we have. Then after that, we subtract the one that we know that this one we sold them. This one we still have on our hand. This one we return them. Just like that. Okay. Opening of 420. And we add amount of 3. 155 and we subtract a return of 25 then after that we subtract the sales amount of 30 and 50 sales is done there okay then after that we also have to subtract what we have on hand 396 that's the formula to calculate a uh, stolen okay if you do this calculation guys you're gonna find that we have four units which is missing which means that in other words yes there is a four units that has been stolen all right proceed to the next one then it's five marks for this three marks guys so the next one charlie is concerned about the volume of, uh, of stock on hand calculate how long his stock is expected to last the formula is very simple a closing stock you divide by cost of sales okay how are we going to calculate this a closing stock we already calculated is 1.5 million and 30 rand okay cost of sales cost of sales guys uh, we have to use a formula which says opening plus purchase minus the return minus closing is gonna give you cost of sales okay if you check in our case our opening stock value it was uh, 913500 plus purchases of 8 million 460 and 850 minus a return of 76000 and we subtract a closing which what we get 1.5 million and 30 which means that this guys is very important if you don't get this one you're not going to get this one okay and we close if you complete everything here is going to give you amount of seven million seven hundred and ninety eight and 320 then after that you have to multiply by 365 so that you can get how many days is going to take to sell this inventory 70 comma 2 days all right it's going to take 70 comma 2 days in order for charlie to sell uh, this inventory a suitcase likely a suitcase does not expire guys it's not like a bread if it's a bread obvious they were going to expire okay moving to the next one uh, state one problem with keeping too much stock on hand and one problem to keeping insufficient stock on hand okay we have to get a uh, five point here okay this one is five point uh, five point two this one is five point two point three okay this one is the second bullet they say that we have to identify let's start by one problem with keeping much stock on hand which problem can it arise if we keep stock on hand for a long time number one goods can expire goods can expire okay number two another option you can say goods can be out of fishing imagine guys if samsung uh, has keep a lot of e250 samsung e250 who was going to buy it now in 2023 no one was going to buy it because it's out of fishing it's there there are a lot of new cell phone that has been introduced which means that that cell phone is out of fishing because if they keep it for a long time 
the more others are keeping introducing a new uh, technology. Okay, then the next one they said the one problem of with keeping insufficient stock on hand. The problem that can arise if uh, we always not have enough stock. Obviously, customers are going to complain. Customers will complain. Imagine every day you, when you go there, they told you that uh, they don't have a stock today. And when you go tomorrow, they say the same thing. So obviously, the other day you are not going to come there. You will take another option because this business uh, always have insufficient stock. Okay, it's a, it's a problem. And we're going to lose a lot of income. Those people who are going back, we are losing income, obviously, because they're not going to pay us because we don't have a stock. So I hope you learn, guys. Please, don't forget to subscribe and share with friends who want to learn accounting or your um, classmate or your friend or your family member who want to learn any accounting so that they can also learn like you the way you learn uh, this simple part that I simplify for you. Don't forget to subscribe and those who want to join our extra class, extra class is still available only 60 rand we attend online if you check i did another video explaining into more detail how to join a class uh, so that you can be able to be added on whatsapp group and enjoy with other learners who are attending a zoom class i'm gonna see you on the next one